I am Louis Daguerre, the inventor of photography. I invented photography to capture light, the essence of reality, to stop light and have it write upon paper. Hence the name photography, to write on light with light. Uh, unfortunately, uh, truth does not exist in light or on paper. Not long after uh, my invention, uh, people began to manipulate images. In 1860, only a few decades after I invented it, photography already lost its innocence. Perfect skin, perfect hair, perfect teeth, perfect bodies. Most women wish we could become like the images that bombard us constantly. The real goal is to make us feel a little bit insecure, so we'll want to buy that product to feel better about ourselves. And guess what? It's working. And what do you think of when you see a picture like this? I read some ads out of a magazine and showed them to average women shopping at the gateway. Religion. What kind of procedure can I get? <laughs> <laughs> what message does it send to women, do you think? Try a little harder, I guess. Everyone in those publications look like that. I guess I should be able to yeah. as well. There's got to be some way somehow. Well, there is a way. If you can't change reality, change the picture. It's what's known now as photoshopping. Look at these celebrity photos. Mariah Carey at the photo shoot and after Photoshop. Here's Beyonce before. Look closely. Notice in the after, her stomach is smaller, her legs have been slimmed down, even the size of her head has changed. And here's Kelly Clarkson. They have photoshopped some 20 pounds off of her body. This Red Book magazine cover of country singer Faith Hill sparked big controversy last year. Look at all the changes. Honestly, wasn't she pretty enough before? Even Katie Couric, who is known more for her brains than her beauty, was photoshopped heavily before a national advertising campaign. Sacre bleu.
different, only different in your mind. You must unlearn what you have learned. I will not Photoshop the truth as a means to appease the uncomfortability of truth, truthfully speaking. I will not crop out what others prefer to go unsaid or resize truth for the purposes of fitting in your frame. I will not resize or rotate or flip it so that when you first hear it, it feels less offensive. I believe scars are lessons learned, so I won't even fix any blemishes. I won't adjust the contrast to make the message a little bit brighter. I won't add any special effects so the image looks more like me as opposed to Christ's style. See, beauty in what you may see is ugly because Christ somehow saw beauty in me. So I'd much rather shop his photo than photoshop the truth.